Hey. Hey, do you have an S23 Ultra? Are you tired of seeing your carrier bloated software on there? Are you tired of seeing that carrier boot logo pop up every single time? Are you tired of getting late to carry the updates? Are you tired of getting late potential OS updates? Then it might be time for you to flash unbranded software on your phone and get rid of that T-Mobile, Xfinity, Verizon, AT&T firmware, whatever have you, at least if you're in the US, and flash to generic US firmware. Today I'm going to show you how to do that using two tools. Odin, a patch version, so you can switch your carrier code from, let's say, TMB or T-Mobile to XAA, which is the unbranded carrier firmware. And then I'm going to show you how to download that carrier firmware using Freeha, which will allow you to type in the XAA carrier code and download the latest unbranded carrier firmware. In this video, I will show you some overlays of me extracting the zip files and me downloading this on my personal phone. Again, proceed at your own risk. For me, I wanted my phone reset, so I did it in a way that would reset my phone and let me start from scratch. If you don't want to do that, their option is there using the second CSC file to keep your data potentially. But again, always back up your data first. We all know that by now. But again, back up your data before you're proceeding. All right, here we go. All righty, welcome to the desktop. Um, the first thing you want to confirm is that you have the model number SM-918U. Um, that is basically all the US versions that I know of. We are going to be flashing to the U1 model, S918U1. U1 is the GSM unlocked version. We're going to be flashing over to that. Um, there are going to be some dependencies for Freeha that you will need. This is my personal folder where I have um, on my file stored. Um, we're going to need the Samsung USB driver. We're going to need the uh, Microsoft Visual C 2010, um, basically a 32-bit package. And then we're also going to need the Visual C 2008 package. I think that's also for x86, 32-bit basically. Um, and then we are going to open up Freeha since those dependencies have been fulfilled. If they're not, it'll tell you you have to get them done before it'll relaunch. So this is what it looks like when you first start it up. So we're going to type in SMS 918U1. And I type today U1 and we're looking for XAA. Um, I, I think I have a screenshot that I can attach on top of this just so you see. Let me pull it up here. I should have it in here just so you can see what the codes mean. There we go. So these are the carrier codes in the US. ATT is on ATT, of course. And those are your options. We are going to XAA. Ignore XAAS. XAS. Don't use that. Just XAA. That's the, that's the universal standard for the US. XAA. We're going to check for update. It's going to pull the latest version. That's what it's pulling right now. You can download that. And you can place that anywhere you like. I'm going to throw that there. I already have an older version downloaded. Um, so I'm going to use that but there's basically no difference. So I'm gonna close this out here. The next thing you will need um, for flashing, um, I experimented on uh, two, two main Odin versions. There's Odin 314, 314.4 uh, that did not work because you're flashing across carrier codes. So there's a patched version, you'll need to get this. Um, just be careful when you're downloading this. It's easy to get fake versions. I'm going to close this out. And then we'll continue in the next part of me actually flashing. All right, so the first thing you want to do if you have the phone powered on, power it all the way off, plug it in via USB-C to your PC, let it go all the way off. And then when it's all the way off, hold volume up and down at the same time, no power. Just keep holding, you'll get a screen like this. Press volume up and then the screen will refresh and I'll show you a serial number. I froze my screen so you can't see mine, but you're set there. Then we'll be ready for the next step. Back the zip file after the decryption is done. And this is accelerated, of course. Open up Odin. And now you have to match the files. So let's do that. The main thing that may be an issue is that CSC file. Basically, one of the files will wipe your system and the other file is supposed to keep your data. I will attach an overlay, uh, just so you know which one to select. 
but as long as you follow what I do, except for the last step, the last one I select, then you should be good. And it's okay for it to freeze like this, it's just processing the file, so. Once you've selected all the files and you've made sure that they match and also verified the CSC file is the one you want, whether it's a factory reset or to keep your data, go ahead and click next. Now just a waiting game. It'll tell you when it's done. It should be green. Alrighty, when it resets and it says pass, you're basically good to go. It'll take a bit longer for it to boot on its first try, but when it gets there, you'll see there's no carrier software anymore. Boot logo is gone. You're solid. Congrats.